Hi, I'm Sarah Cook, and I am um, talking to you today about raising money for my trip to Guatemala with the I Am Art campaign, and I will be teaching young artists in Guatemala who don't have the funds or possibly never had art before in their lives. So um, I just want to share some things about myself in my classroom. So here we go. So years ago, uh, years ago, I met a young woman, and her name was Julie is Julie Berry at Lubers, and she runs an organization called Ten Five. This is exactly when I met Julie when we were young students in elementary school, and then we stayed friends, and we've been lifelong friends ever since. In high school, Julie didn't feel very artistic, and I would always say to her, you are, you are. When she started calligraphy, her calligraphy is so beautiful, and she wrote this poem uh, in calligraphy for me when we were graduating, and I'm going to read it to you. Don't quit. When things, go, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. And when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things go wrong that you mustn't quit. I've had this poem hanging in my classroom for 16 years. It's a very powerful piece for me because I feel my students can also benefit from hearing that. Here's some of their artwork based on Picasso. Each one is different because each student is different and the way they learn and they create. Julie's Foundation in Guatemala is an amazing uh, organization for students to be successful. Here are some of my students talking about my class. Miss Cook is a great person all around. She never fails to make people smile and really inspires people in their artwork. Miss Cook believes that creativity is the key to art, so she lets us paint and create whatever we want when we're in here because she believes that our opinions matter to what we want to create. Miss Cook is a work of art herself, so whenever you see her, you just automatically feel inspired, which I feel is very important when you're making art. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate your words, and it makes me so sweet. feel so good about myself. In the hallway, we have a student who, Grace, is splatter painting her project, and she also wanted to weigh in on this conversation. I think um, our class is really important to express yourself, and Miss Cook is a great teacher, and I think she should go to Guatemala and do what she wants to do. And please donate some money. All right, thanks, Grace. So when you enter my classroom, one of the things I feel important that the students say to themselves is, I am an artist. And when they leave my classroom, it says, I am still an artist. Thank you, and thanks for being caring. And if you can't donate monetarily, then please pray for us, and I'm sending you all positive energy.